Squad, how y'all living? How y'all doing? It's your boy Amari. Hope y'all having a nice evening right now. And uh, we back. Had another one for y'all in the bank. Some Mod Savage just dropped this one. You know we had to hop on it. This is a special video. He said this one is for Domestic Violence Awareness Month. So, uh, of course, I'm going to give this one a peep. I'm going to get into it. Um, just want to let y'all know that um, I'm very supportive of anybody who's going through that. Um, I, I know people, I've, I've, I've had family members and close friends dealing with that type of thing. So, you know, it's very serious and I, I just want to do my part to help spread this type of awareness and this type of message. So, um, yeah, shout out to Samad Savage for always having something to say, regardless of the issue and it being positive. So, uh, yeah. Drop down to the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this one after hearing it. And um, let's jump into it. Hit that like button. Hit that sub button. Hit that notification bell as well. Stay up to date with your boy. We we on a drop-in spree. It's still Droptober. So we gonna, so we going to keep dropping videos. Let's get it. Oh hell nah dog. She said he beat me every time he get the chance to beat me almost weekly, even leave the house this man to beat me while we watch the TV and I change the channel the scandal. Even when I lock the door handle, I'm tackle. I cannot survive this cause I'm fragile, but I have to put up with it because leaving such a hassle. Cause I love him and I feel like all of this may pass through. Got my best friend asking me how could he smack you? I don't know Yo, what the fuck, dog? That's crazy. Like, you think a lot of it is shock value, and it seems like, as as a culture, we become desensitized to this type of thing because we see this in in drama TV shows and movies. We see this in reenactments. We we even make fun of it with memes and all this kind of stuff. But like, when you really think about it, and you realize like this is actually what's happening, you actually realize that there there are relationships like this out there in the world. And it's a scary thing for anybody involved. You you kind of you kind of just hit a different mentality, and, and it kind of stops being funny. Um, it's just never okay to for for a relationship to be like that. And um, that's just that that's something that really makes me angry. So. Not so about this cause I'm fragile but I have to put up with it because leaving such a hassle Cause I love him and I feel like all of this may pass through Got my best friend asking me how could he smack you I don't know how to open up cause I'm bashful Plus I don't wanna bother anyone with my bad news See that's what I'ma tell the cops when they dash through So all them thoughts of leaving me had better been cancelled See I don't really give a damn if it's not true Cause they gon' believe you sock me before I sock you Plus you Oh, I remember this. This is this is from the this is isn't this a track from the from uh don't don't trust or trust the weird kids or whatever whatever his album was called. Um I remember this. This is this is like I think this was like the song that stuck out to me the most just because it's really a flip on what you think on what you think is happening and I just caught that. Like the funny thing is it goes both ways like people think it's unrealistic to say that guys get stuck in abusive relationships but it, it, it happens and yeah we may not hear about it but that's just because we're used to the story of the guy hitting the girl or whatever whatever it may be but trust and believe it goes both ways and this is just a prime this is an example this is you know taken from a situation that actually happened to him um, not him directly, but to, you know, somebody he knows. So it's just real crazy, real crazy to think that, um, to think, to think that like, even before you realize it, your prejudice is set in and like, 
even me in the beginning of this video i'm thinking yo how is he how is he doing this to her but in reality it's like he's being played he's being trapped by this idea that he that he's an abuser there's nothing he can do um so just watching how this see how this plays out this is i think this is actually really well written and really well played by samad this is this 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 was dope black man i'm sure you know how the cops do so i'm gonna hit myself and then tell him i couldn't stop you like don't put your hands on me 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 He said, I swear I'm done with this relationship. I will never beat you, but your evilness is lethal with the evil swooping down for prey. I'm praying that you pay for this legitimate. Fraudulent your cards into me often. Plus, you hit me hard as hell, and I don't never hit you back. And if I push you on the wall, you might get a little scratch. And then you show it to your friends. They hit my jack and talk crap. And I've been trying to break up. But you tell them you take me back, I'm off of that. Oh crap. Oh, now you calling the cops. Screw it. They gotta believe me, cause my word is all I got. Wait, why you banging all up on your arm? You better stop. Wait, come back. What you doing in that room? The door is locked. From this moment, you can hear sirens coming from around the block. She came out the door, snuffed him in his head, kicked him in his leg, threw him on the bed, rolled around so he's on top. Cops came in without a knock. While his face was full of shock, he was saying, Don't put your hands on me. 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 See, it's crazy, but like, and I'm I'm not trying to make a blanket statement here, so 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 don't at me with that when I say this. But the manipulation in these type of situations is really unreal, and it's really something only that a girl can pull off in this society. Like, let's be real: how many guys are going to the going to the police saying, "Yo, she's keeping me trapped here. I can't do anything. She's faking that I'm abusing her, that I'm beating her, but you know she's." doing all these things that makes it seem like he's in the wrong when really it's her like she she's she's putting herself in a position to to get these scratches or these bruises she's the one hitting you she's the one she's the one making up lies to her friends formulating this entire story and it's really and it's really sad to see that especially in 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 a society that we live in how hard it is to break away from something like this just because of all the preconceived notions because of all the prejudices because of everything that you've grown to know everything that you've learned as a as a person living in american society points you to believe that yo it's it's gonna be the guy hitting the girl girl wouldn't lie about that um that's why it's just it's really dangerous and it's a really slippery slope to go down and it's not really something anybody ever deserves to be a part of regardless of if you're a man hitting a woman a woman keeping a man trapped or a woman hitting a man man it doesn't matter what the situation is nobody deserves to go through that but seeing how hurtful it can be seeing how frustrating it is like sis sitting here I'm pretty sure this is invoking some kind of emotion to you because it's it's making me frustrated. It's making me say, yo, what the hell, dog? Like, why don't you do this? Why don't you do that? But it's not always necessarily that easy. And it, <laughs> it's just really something else to see this playing out, to see this dramatized, but to see it also realistic. That's, yeah. Put your hands on me. The cop said, Get on the ground, pull him, take it, you down. She said, Stop, you learned his lesson, he'll stop beating me now. The man said, Beating you? I was just leaving the house. The cop said, I right, listen, I'm only here to announce how many men kill their partners every day. Three, who witnessed one of those times when it happened? Me. And every time the cops come, she always want to defend them. When the woman's a victim, that's because she's weak. So I'm going to say this one time, pack your backs and leave. Because if this woman calls a kid, then you can best believe that I don't even care what could possibly happen to me. And I'm going to choke you till I hear the last. The cops left, the girl apologized She barely waited a second to let him know that she'll go and lie Again, he waited weeks, but as soon as he tried She did the same thing, the cops came, he was terrified 
So he was screaming, don't put your hands on me. Beat him until he bleeding. Don't put your hands the cop on thought he was a hero. Don't put your hands on Fought for what he believed in. Don't put your hands so the man on did the time. He even beat the case. Don't put your hands on the second that he was saved. Don't put your hands trust on issues me. came into play. Don't put your hands on me. Now it's hard chance. Don't put your hands on me. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We gotta read this. One in three women have experienced some form of physical violence by an intimate partner. Okay, okay. One in four men have experienced some form of physical violence by an intimate partner. I bet you didn't think it was that. It, it, was, it was that heavy. One in three women. One in four men. So we're talking about a... 34% chance and a 25% chance. That just goes to show you don't know what's going on underneath the surface. That just goes to show you don't have all the answers. Yo, I'm praying that y'all stay safe in these streets. I'm praying that y'all that 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 y'all Find the strength to escape whatever it is that's holding you down, holding you back. Um, I pray that nobody's in this type of situation. And if they are, there's a number right there. Right there. Right there. I want you to be safe. I want you to be healthy. I don't want you walking around through life with emotional scars and baggage and all that kind of stuff. So please do something. And if you know somebody, help them do something. You can't force somebody to want help but there are times when people don't know what to do themselves help them out especially if you know what's really going on don't be an observer don't all right uh yo just a little that that, that was a little heavy not gonna lie but um yeah Whew. Uh, drop down to the comments if you have anything to say, any stories to share, any and, and just anything at all. Just drop down to the comments. I'm, I, I want to hear it, okay? And um, hit that like button, hit that sub button, hit that notification bell. Stay up to date with me. I, I'm 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 gonna keep dropping. What is this? Like four, five today? Yeah, we we still going. We still going. But um, shout out to some more for this. Uh, this is a type of story I can I can really appreciate. This is why I fell in love with rap and hip hop because of this type of storytelling, um, this type of message being spread. So, you know, whatever, what, what, whatever is going on, just, just please, stay safe, y'all. Much love. I'm gone.